Okay, today is October 25th, 2015, and this is Class 1's Flexus 5400, uh, ID number 4036. Um, uh, this is going out with 8-inch uh, wafer capability, and um, this portion of the Proof of Life video will demonstrate the functionality with the wafer hammer and measurements with uh, an 8-inch wafer. So we have an 8-inch cassette and the tool is currently powered down. So we're going to demonstrate a full power up and let's go ahead and power this tool up. barely see the PC coming up, but it's taking a while for it to get to its full brightness. Here we go. So we're at the um, Windows 3.1 uh, user interface screen. And as we initialize the tool, we start the WinFlex software. Again, this is just to demonstrate the 8-inch capability, 8-inch operation of this tool. So we will see the handler initialize. So obviously, this tool came with very old peripherals. keyboard and our mouse or trackball will obviously get replaced. Okay, so we are tool is fully been initialized. And um, go ahead and start up user one. Let me just do a quick measurement here. Scale. Takes a quick weight measurement of the substrate. And again, this is a quick test of showing operation of the 200 millimeter. Uh, a second part of the proof light video will show uh, measuring uh, a wafer set with stress measurement. Some process you could hear it. Okay. Measurement complete. So that was just to demonstrate the 200 millimeter capability. And off. Go with part two next. Okay, this is part two of the proof of light video for class one's 50, Flexus 5400 ID 4036. And um, uh, my, uh, we have an AB wafer set here, and these are the wafer sets that we're using. Uh, so we're looking for um, our scale should measure or weigh the wafer A and should uh, be plus minus one micron on the 660 micron thickness 
and when our measurement is complete, this is for uh, this is for calibration check. Uh, we should be within 5% of the 361 megapascals. So our wafers A and B are already loaded in the cassette. And I'm going to go ahead and focus in on the screen. So again, wafer A is in slot 1. So we go and do our first measurement right now. So it's taking a scale measurement, you can hear that. It's pulling that now, it's going loading into the onto the stage, going through the pre-alignment. We want a tripod. It's kind of hard to like go back and forth, so let's just keep it on the screen. You could hear things running. So at this point, we're looking at wafer A and the uh, substrate thickness. Should be about 660 plus minus one micron. And you can see right there that we are at 660. Okay, so the second part of the wafer A and B measurements to measure B for our megapascal stress measurement. So go ahead and click on this. So we're just going to do a, a single stress measurement. And then we're at 90 degrees. And then we're going to go for 2, which is work for B. And then we're going to go for 3. This will do. Let's pick up what you will see. Okay. For B. Now we're on our stage to the pre alignment to 90 degrees. Takes our stress measurement. And we're looking at plus minus 5% within 361 megapascals. Measurement is complete, and we're looking at 369.3. We'll do a quick calculation there. Off by eight, and we're looking at 2.2%. Uh, so well within our spec, and this concludes our proof of life video of. ID number 4036.